Okay, hello and welcome everyone to another stream of FTL. Uh, this is Zorchi here and today I'll be playing the um, the Stealth B. So in the last, in between the last uh, uh, FTL episodes I did some unlocks and I got the uh, all of the B ships unlocked except for the uh, Lannis Cruiser and obviously the, um, the Crystal Cruiser uh, which I still need to unlock entirely. Um, but yeah, this time I'll be playing the the Stealth B. There are some special things about this uh, about the ship, which is that it has no shields, like I think all of these Stealth uh, ships. I'm not entirely certain about the C ship, but yeah, both A and B for sure have no shields. So that is something that we have to play around with. Uh, it does come with level two cloaking uh, and a really really slow weapon system, the Glaive Beam. So very slow but very powerful. Uh, it does uh, three damage per room. It hits, um, and that also means that it. Okay. Um, and that also means that it can pierce to uh, even level two shields, uh, but it will still do it will do one less damage than the amount of shield that it has. So if you have one shield bubble up, then this thing will deal two damage per per hit. Uh, if it if the enemy has two shield uh, bubbles up, then it will only do one one damage per per room it hits. Uh, let's see, let's get right into it, and then the first thing that I always like to do is look at the uh, map, and then just assess where we want to go and what the exit location looks like. So here we do have some nebula exits. Nebula exits are always nice because it means that if you dive, you won't have to deal with an ASB, with an anti-ship battery. Um, there's an asteroid field detected here. We are gonna avoid that if at all possible, and it, it seems like it is. Uh, asteroid field will absolutely wreck the ship because, well, we don't have shields. So yeah, that's not something that we would like to, to play around with. I am gonna swap these two around just because I think having a, having a, um, uh, a Zoltan on weapons is not really a great thing. Um, because you sometimes you have to move people out of a room and if you do that then the weapon might go down and since the charge time is already this long um, we can't really have our charge time being interrupted and we lose and us losing some some of that time that we invested in it I never like this event but I'm gonna go for it anyway well that's that's yeah I get what I... Oh my goodness, this is also a weapon system. Holy moly. Okay, well... Um, I think getting weapon, getting our, our engines back up is here is more important than a little bit of charge time of our weapon. Since we have engines back up now, I really hope this doesn't go into weapons. It doesn't look like it should hit somewhere over here. So we are going to cloak under this... Uh, heavy laser or uh, under this burst laser to fire. We only have 70% dodge So yeah, we may still get hit here sometimes luckily we we weren't able we weren't hit but Yeah, that's oof That's a rough start right there Can we kill this in one go? Uh, it has two four six two four six seven um, seven uh, uh, health and if we go like this, then we kill in one turn because the first hit will take down the shields. Uh, that will deal two, deal two damage and the subsequent hits will deal uh, three damage. Um, so that means that this this uh, volley will kill the enemy. That's a really good deal actually. I think I'll actually take that. There's two reasons. One of them is five fuel is a lot of fuel in the in the early game. Ten scraps, not too bad. So what you usually get in the first sector is maybe like twelve, maybe fifteen, something like that. But ten is just not too bad. And five missiles. Actually, there's an there's an event where you can sell five, ten, or fifteen missiles for a certain amount of cash. Uh, so a scrap. Um, and this actually gives me gets me to that first slot already. We're not using missiles currently, but uh, just because of that, I will I will actually gladly take it. The five fuel is is good on its own already, uh, together with the ten uh, ten scrap. But yeah, very nice rewards. Um, 
And yeah, we did take a little bit of damage here, um, but not too big a deal. Mm, okay, we see some scrap here. Distress beacons are not too great for us, and we don't have we don't have a lot of options there. Oof. Mm. 10 seconds so um, the charge time of our glaive beam I think it's 10% faster currently right yeah so we basically have to dodge this if we wanna yeah good 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 so the only difficult thing about this ship is to manage how when you should dodge early on um, so sometimes you can uh, press your your uh, um, your evasion key a lot earlier and then you can get away with um, um, with just charging your glaive beam while your cloak is running uh, with some ships like this one uh, you have to uh, cloak whenever they shoot and then hope that they don't hit your weapons because if they hit your weapons that can be a run ending it's it's just it's man this game is so rng dependent uh, we do definitely want to uh, get some more scrap. If we get our first shield bubble up, then we are, you know, in in very, very good shape. Poof. I might actually go there. Just because it, it gives us the opportunity to take this nebula. And um, the only downside of it is that we don't know what what's these two jumps are. And if they're asteroid fields, we will not take these jumps. So, yeah. That's the, that's the only downside, that we were sort of locked in this trajectory up there. <laughs> so here again, I think I'll wait for this to, to fire. I don't think this will fire. No. Okay. So in that case, I will drop my O2 temporarily to get a little bit more. Okay, not, not great. To get a little bit more evasion. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have let it fire first, this thing, and then go in, uh, and repair it. I don't think... If this hits that... Oh my goodness. Oh, that was so close. Oh, that was way too close for comfort. So, that was a little mistake there. I should have let uh, um, uh, Valerie stay in, in the... Uh, Valeria? Stay in the uh, engines here to have a little bit more evasion. Uh, because if they hit my, my weapons here, I am screwed absolutely screwed so um so this is another bad thing about the ship we don't really have an easy way to deal with borders early on so usually what you have is that you have a med bay in an area something somewhere like this where you have three spaces for for um for people to stay in uh our med bay is over here so we can't really vent the entire ship and then force the enemy into us we just have to deal with the enemy the old-fashioned way, which is just killing them like this. And it looks like it's three... Yeah, it's a three-man boarding party. Oof. I'm gonna drop the O2 here. Oh, I can't drop the O2 here because my Zoltan is in there. So I'm gonna force them out of this room here. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to do. So we can't deal with this boarding party as it is currently. Uh, so I'm just trying to create an advantageous uh, position for us by uh, moving my guys into uh, into rooms that I can actually manage. Oh, that's not good. Please. So and now I can just uh, um, heal my guys up. Uh, in the time that they take to, you know, attack this and attack that. So they're in the O2 room right now and in the... Um, ah, that's really unfortunate, the piloting. Um, and they will come into this room right now. And probably into this room right here. So now I've now, now created a, a situation where I can really... Uh, where I know I will win this. Um, they're so low right now that I can just take care of them. 
So right here, I don't want to lose my Sultan, so I'll use the human to uh, pick off the uh, the last human there. Good, good. Boarding events on this ship are not not the easiest early on, uh, but yeah, manageable if uh, if done correctly. Definitely want to make sure that the O2 stays on because if we lose O2 right now, that would be really really bad. Hmm. Good, good. Close all the doors. And let's continue our journey to the quests. So, it's, so far it's been a very bad sector for scrap. Um, yeah, we've only, we've only gotten 34 scrap. Mm. That's really bad. This is a uh, Artemis missile. Good. Uh, so by continually pausing there, I was able to uh, not only cloak this shot, but also the, the Artemis missile shot. Um, definitely gonna cloak here. Uh, okay, that's not into weapons. That's all I care about at this point. Not in weapons. That's all I'm hoping and praying for. Um, and I should really get the O2 back up. Um, same thing as previously, first the shield room and then into weapons. That's all you want to do with um, with this ship. Another distress beacon, probably not something that we can do something at. Oh, actually we can, good. Um, the beam, the glaive beam actually uh, gives us this option and it's actually a high scrap reward if I remember correctly. Okay, so one, two head down here head back here and then exit or we can just one two two and a half exit <clears throat> so we have some options here it's a store that is not good uh definitely don't need a store just yet uh, we cannot afford shields um that's not that's unfortunately we also can't move here so we can avoid the store so yeah we'll, this is just empty jumps unfortunately Oh, that's really unfortunate. Um, yeah, we can't take anything here. So the only thing that we could potentially do is is get cloaking level three. Um, with a 15 second chart with a 15 second timing um, we can uh, our, our glaive beam is charging 25 seconds and it has minus 10% uh, because we are manning the system as you can see here so that means that it charges in 22 and a half seconds um, if we get level 3 cloaking that means that we can um, that we can let the enemy's weapons charge for a little bit, uh, cloak, uh, and then fire off our weapon before they can actually get off a shot. Um, so that is something that you can do with this ship. Um, we would need a little bit more scrap since we also need an extra power bar for that. Actually, let's let's just get that. Uh, I think that's that's good practice no matter what so we aren't able to to get any more um to get any more scrap this sector apart from this jump um but that also means that we should you know make make it as safe as possible in the next sector to um to stay ahead of the curve and this is what i mean uh, so here we are oh well, that might actually not be a bad not be a good uh cloak Be so with most weapons, so I was thinking, oh, this is just a two laser weapon, but they can actually fire at one, um, with one laser charge as well. And if that hit weapons, then we may be in really big trouble. Um, if they just keep charging it, that's not a problem at all for us. Uh, good, we win. So, but as you can see, we were able to fire before the, um, the relatively fast firing mini beam was, was able to fire there. So yeah, that's how you can play around with this as well. Um, no, I'm not gonna mess with um, with diving here since we don't have shields. 
I should really remember to put the O2 back on, but actually I'm just gonna get a power bar, uh, play it safe. Next sector. Oh, I don't like either of these. Oh, I think I'm gonna go rock control. Zoltan control is absolutely horrible for us since we can't deal with the Zoltan shield at all. So yeah, rock control is definitely gonna be the one. The problem is rock controlled have uh, our rock, rock cruisers have uh, um, rock hole plating, which means that taking them out is going to be much, much harder. So it's it's not really a guaranteed kill if we go for a glade beam into shields and then into weapons. And on top of that, this sector has a lot of asteroids and suns and crap that we just don't want at all. So yeah, it's... Uh, both of them are absolutely not what we want to have. Okay, here I'm actually gonna vent everything and just get get them to fuck off politely. Um, need to open that. So now we have a 25 second charge time because we are not manning the system. But yeah, I, I have to go for a glade beam here, I think, uh, like that most likely or actually can get a little bit more damage in like that I just have to make sure that I hit shields before I hit weapons that's that's all I care about right here yeah like this is fine don't punch it don't punch it down don't just good good boys This is gonna be really close. Oh my goodness. No, kill it with fire. Okay, that's fine. Can live with that. That's not an issue. This is an issue. As mentioned before, borders are deadly to the ship. I think I'm gonna deal with it the, the the same as I had did the last time. So I'm gonna vent these, uh, these rooms right here, this actually as well, and then as soon as this all um, becomes red, I'll just move up to the to the thingy and heal myself. Um, people, look, you need to get out of there, buddy. You need to get out of there, bud, bud. Get a two-on-one situation going against this rock for now. Oh yeah, I need to heal. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get out of there. So with with venting, um, the way it works is actually um, the more openings you have to space, the faster a room uh, um, loses oxygen. So this, uh, um, because we have three vents into space, um, the oxygen is draining out quite quite fast into all of these rooms and we're really lucky that they're rocks because they're moving really really slowly uh, which is definitely helping us right here um, removing o2 also makes them makes the oxygen drain out a little bit faster so that's also something to keep in mind uh, yeah sure okay survive that event that's uh um that was a scary one. Uh, okay, uh, Cyber Penguins. See, uh, see you later, buddy. Uh, what an event, what an event, what an event. There's only Sector 2. Yeah. Good, good. We did collect some scrap, so that's nice. Hmm. So for this one, same as before. Cloaking right off the bat, our charge time is 22, um, 22.5 currently. The cloak lasts for 15 seconds. These fire at I think 10 seconds, so we um, so we can definitely fire before they can. And since they have no one manning the system either, uh, they're they're not even gonna fire. You have to take into into account as well that sometimes they can. The the laser needs some time to travel. 
So you need to take into account that if you if you pull it through like this, then you know it takes a little bit longer than um, than just what it is on paper, uh, which is like the seven and a half second of a difference. No, three, three and a half, three and a half. Well, oh, that's really good. Oh, that's that's really really good. So that's a really big high scrap reward. Anti sh anti ship fire drone is um, really good. Uh, fodder to sell at the next store which we just found so I'm just gonna try to get as much scrap as possible before the store so we can afford um, to um, so we can afford to get shields mm. I think you demand the rock sh uh, pay up yeah so I think there's so this 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 Option can also be bad, by the way. I know that, that it has some negative things associated with it as well. So again, asteroid fields are deadly to us. We definitely want to avoid that as much as possible. Don't need that. I want all the scrap that I can get. Probably not going to get shield at this store, but I do want to get to the distress uh, because I want to see what these three jumps are over here. And like I said, I, you know, we kind of need to get more... Uh, more scrap before we go to the store anyway we need to get and we need to get any sort of any sort of scrap gains that we can get um, unfortunately the fire drone is not enough I don't really want to sell off the long-range scanners because that will help us the rest of the run but man this sector has been really bad for us so far I don't think I will even go to the store I would rather just collect more scrap yeah that's Let's get that Federation ship. Cloak right off the bat. It's just like with the other ones, that's where we upgraded our cloaking in the first place. Um, we go from shields to weapons so that the weapons can uh, uh, take three damage for sure, which will take down uh, this weapon system 100% of the time. Actually, let me, let me move my, my, my um, beam line a little bit closer just so the travel time is a little bit less to the weapons room. It, it didn't matter for this ship because it, they died straight away. Let's contact the Federation ship. Okay, we got a quest on our hands. Mm. Oh, that is really unfortunate. So we can't actually go to the store. Um, oof. Yeah, I think I, I will still go to it. I'll just have to double jump to this, to this jump right here. I will go here, here, and then back. Um... Uh, we just can't. We just can't take asteroid fields, and he, these two were were asteroid fields and sun events, which is really bad without shields. And these two were asteroid fields as well. So yeah, just a little bit bad RNG, but yeah, the other option would have been a Zoltan sector, which is even worse for us. Um, so yeah, let's just take it as it comes, I guess. Go for the shields into weapons again. Fifty-four scrap. The beam drone sells for twenty, maybe something like that. Um, so yeah, we definitely need to find a little bit more before we can uh, uh, before we can actually get the um, shields. So this one twenty-five, not bad. Yeah, uh, 15 is not even enough to get shields, so I will just hang on to my money here. Um, do I want to get hacking? I do have seven hacking parts. I just can't see seeing it being very good at this point. The automated reloader would be a better option, I think, if anything. Different weapon system, heavy laser too. In the next sector, we're going to run into two shield ships, so we need to find something that can uh, help our glaive beam out. And hacking would do that, but hacking is just so expensive right now that I can't see myself getting it. Um, oof, man, this is a rough start for sure. Uh, I think I'll stick with the original plan. Just jump back, hit this, hit this jump over here, maybe hit that jump. No, no, I can't hit that jump. Um, hit this jump, hit that jump, and then get out of here. Do you have anything else I want to sell? I can sell? No, I don't. 
I would like to get a little bit of fuel here, especially because we use empty jump as well. Um, but yeah, I just don't have the scrap for it at the moment. These have been really, really bad sectors for scrap. I mean, so far, the only thing that we've had in two sectors is we've added one, one, one bar of cloaking and a power bar, which is 70 scrap. And the rest is here. So we had two sectors where we got, what is this, 160 scrap, something like that. That's very, very bad. Uh, but here again, cloaking into, into this uh, laser right here. Should not be an issue. Mm. Mm. Nope, we will not accept that. Their thing is down anyway. Their weapons, um, so we should be able, we should be good to go for another volley like this. Mm. Our cloak is coming back up before before they can get their weapons back up. Um, so yeah, we can just cloak again here um, and prevent them from charging the weapons. And in the meantime, we can just kill them. Easy peasy. Mm. I'm not entirely certain if I jump out now that my uh, thing is going to be recharged. It is. I think it will be. But... Yeah, yeah, so it, it is recharged already. Good, good, good. So the next store that we find, we can actually get our our thing at. As, as long as this is in the store. Oh, good. Oh, no, the, oh that's really good. That is really important, by the way. Getting a, a, a uh, crew member that can deal with borders is absolutely... Is so so good. Hmm. Yeah, move in. Okay, that's good. So this puts us above the 125 threshold that we need to get. Um, that we need to get um, shields in the next sector. So, pirate control does have stores. I don't think it has as much as as like civilian sectors or something like that. Uh, so this is a sun event, yeah. So anytime you see this, this is a boarding event. This is just an empty thing with a sun. Um, uh, this is always a boarding event. So I am going to go down here because I see some scrap here. Um, and I do want to see what these these jumps down here are. This is very scary though, because this might be, uh, this might be an asteroid field. And then I'm forced to go back and just waste a, a jump basically. So that's something to keep in mind as well uh we will never surrender one of our crew members to slavers so here we have to count out how many um how many uh, um how much damage they they how many how much hp they have my goodness uh two four six eight ten eleven okay so if i go like this then I deal 11 damage. Two to the first room. After that, the shields are going to go down. And then it's three, three, three. Uh, so that's exactly enough to kill. I am going to let you in here happily. Because then I can fight you in there. Which is perfect. Um, I'm going to cloak right now. And we should be able to kill um, with our glaive beam then. Good. Relatively easy, easy boarding event, I would say. Uh. Mm, yeah, surrender is not an option, I think. I, we, we desperately need scrap. And if we turn down this option, then we are guaranteed a high scrap reward. So I think surrender is not an option. Do we need him for anything else? Do we need him for shields? Nah, not really. Surrender is not an option. Good. We can now start helping out our rock friend. Let's go. Well, I'm not gonna go there. I can't. I just can't go there. Um, so if I go there and the Pulsar hits my weapons, I'm done. Then I I just can't get away from, from any sort of fight. So I, I just cannot afford to go there at this point. Mm -hmm. Let's 
tail them. Oh yes, I would love to trade that. Thank you. That's good. <gasps> There's a store. Good. I got my shields. That's uh. I got scammed. Oh my goodness, I got scammed. Okay, I'm gonna take the flak one here because it will help me to um, to get more effective volleys in with the uh, with the glaive beam once I have um, upgraded my weapons a little bit. But man, man, this is a big old scam. So right here, I just want to find out where the other store is. It might be, it might have been down here, and then you know we won't find another store in this sector probably. Um, I mean, even now we might still not find a another store. So drones, we've not encountered this yet. So I am gonna cloak. Whenever I think this might hit weapons. So this is not gonna hit weapons. Might hit my, my this empty room down here or my med bay. My med bay is more likely to, to be hit. Yeah. So we just took two hits. Uh, this is also not gonna hit weapons. It's probably gonna hit this. Um, but I think I'm gonna cloak here. I think that's that's good enough. Oof, man, this is rough to say the least. Yeah, this is this is a toughie. So after the first glaive beam volley, I'm gonna switch to my flak, I think, and then just try and, and kill it off with a flak. Okay, that's not too bad. Get the flak online and get. Some flackening going. That's really, really bad that the, that the, that the combat drone stayed on. Yeah, definitely want to repair this. This might be... Well, it's not going to be and going to be the end of the run, but... This is for sure really bad. Good. That's that's incredible that that, that went down. Oof. Yeah, I need I need the drone to stay down. That's that's the most that's the priority number one right now. And get this back up. But yeah, the flak is also not ideal to deal with this. Um, do we just get out of here? I think we do. I think we take the distress beacons here. Distress, is, like I said, are not the easiest, but we do have, we did pick up a rockman, so we do have a few more options right now. Uh, let's search. Okay, good, good, good. Free scrap. That's good. Not easy, not easy at all. My goodness. Not easy at all. Man, I'm really hoping that one of these is a store. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's probably what I'm gonna go for. Yeah, it's a trap. That's fine. I was expecting that. Pooh. Man, two shield chips are just incredibly difficult for us to beat right now. Again, just gonna cloak early. Hope that my uh, first hit takes down the first shield bubble. There's quite a good chance actually that that help happens. And then we deal two damage to their weapons. Mm. And then we take down this this uh, burst laser two for sure. Yeah, so it did. Um, So I'm gonna take this this bribe just because the burst laser two stayed on. This means this was an Artemis missile, and I just do not want to deal with a burst laser two right now. Uh, we we don't have a good way. Well, we do have the flag. 
I could do flak right here. So they're gonna repair their shields. Their piloting is down. Let's take this. And their thing is gonna be really slow to repair. Okay, that's not too bad. I think we can take this down pretty reliably here. Um, yeah, okay, good, 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 good. And now because they have they have not repaired their, um, their piloting, this is guaranteed to hit and we actually kill. Good, very, very good uh, decision there. 10 more scrap is so important right here. Very good. And that's for two damage. Yeah, not bad. Man, these fights have not been easy at all. Mm. Okay. No store. And an asteroid field. My goodness. One, two, three. Oh, our fuel is running out. Ay ay ay. Uh, we're gonna attack the rebels, but I'm not happy about this decision. Oh. Man, this run is so hard. So so hard, my goodness. Again, I'm gonna fire this, switch to the flak, and then hopefully take down the weapons afterwards. And again, hoping that this will deal what this one damage that we deal is enough to take down the, their their first shield bubble, and it is good. We just have to deal with the heavy laser right now. <sighs> Losing a crew here would be unacceptable. That's just such a harsh. Good. Okay. The 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 heavy laser is not gonna go in the in the uh, in the thingy room here, and in the uh, cloaking room, which is you know all I could ask for at this point. Uh, yeah, you just keep on piling on that. Okay, we do have one cloak back right now. That's enough for me to go after the shields. Uh, we can just dodge the next uh, uh, heavy laser shot. Actually, I'm gonna fire it right now. So the heavy laser doesn't even get to fire once more. Very good. Oh man, this. Yeah, I'm gonna steal the CV supplies. Oh my goodness. That was lucky. Oh, this is such a hard run. This is such a hard run. I oh, should have stuck with Age of Wonders. Oh, it was so nice and relaxing. I was just, you know, breezing through, making content on the way. Easy peasy. Man, this is decision making. My goodness. Let's hope that this that this thing down there is a store. That the one Oh, it's not. That's unfortunate. One, two, three, four. That's what I'm gonna do. We desperately need fuel. We desperately need so many things. So I'm thinking about upgrading my weapon system here and just not, not going for shields another time. I think it might actually be the right call here because we just can't cannot deal with two shield ships very effectively. I think it is the right call because we cannot. Oh man, I've I've never had a run like this. This is so insane. Um, so I'm gonna go this. Ah. 
Paint the civilian ship. Hopefully this is a double reward. Hmm. Oh my goodness, this is so difficult. So, the idea is, for this to work, is that I have the cloak. The cloak takes off 15 seconds of their charge time. And, you know, in that time we can charge the glaive beam. But now we have to fire off the flak. Right at the end of the... Oh no, we can actually just cloak now. I think this still works, actually. Because we have the full duration of the cloak, we just have to time our flag to arrive literally at the second that we can fire the glaive beam. So we just have to get the timing right here. Is this too early? No, it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, nothing we can do about stuff like this happening. We need to get the shields here and we need to get the weapons. Uh, so yeah, this is the best we, can, we could have done. Anything but weapons. No. No. Let's swap to flak. No, I don't think so. I think we just leave it like this. We take him off. There. Oh man, our hole is also... Man, everything is in shambles. Okay, we cloak right here. Uh oh. So I... No, we're just gonna leave him here. I'm just gonna wait for my flag to, to charge. And as soon as my flag is charged, I think I'm gonna fire this. And then hope. Okay, that's good. Okay, we win. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so hard. <gasps> we got a pre-igniter! And the run is back! Welcome aboard, Ares. Welcome to the winning ship. Let's go. Let's... Oh, now I'm really excited. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's freaking go. We got a pre-igniter. Okay, and the and the run is back on. Ah, shields? Who needs shields anyway, right? Holy moly, that was a good find. Holy, this might have been run winning. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Oh, that that's really bad. So you you need to have your your um um your weapons active for the pre-ignited to work. So I'm really lucky that I jumped back into a uh, previously visited location, but if this was a ship fight, we would have been screwed. We found him. We found a ship pre-igniter. Oh my goodness, I don't want that. Thank you. Our hull is so low that we can't even take any chances right now with our uh, with events. Um, so I'm going to attack the, the rebels, but I'm not going to steal the civilian supplies here. Oh shit, I can just fire. <gasps> I can just fire. I want to see where the Iron Trude Drone goes into. Okay, that's not a problem. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is so fun. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, I'm gonna leave the civilians alone. So if I steal the civil supplies, then they may damage my ship. I think it can't be more than five, but still, um, I'm just not gonna take my chances here. Oh my goodness. The run is back on. This is... Holy moly. Oh no, these are both so bad. <laughs> these are both so bad. Oh, the Sultan Control is still worse. Oh my god, this is... The Sultan Control is still worse because we just cannot deal with uh, the Sultan Shield effectively. This is definitely going to be a dive angle. Um, there's so many jumps here that we can still take before heading back to the exit. Oh my goodness, we need to find a store ASAP. 
Three shields. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay. I'm gonna go like this. And hope that they die. We will not accept surrender. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, so that's really the power of the of the pre-igniter there, obviously. Uh, at this point, yeah, the flak really enables the, the pre-igniter to work. Good. Let's heal up our guys. I can't believe this. <laughs> we actually found a pre-igniter. <laughs> this is so sick. I was talking about this in the beginning as well. We just randomly found it. We just have to survive now. That's a store. I mean, we do have to double jump, but I think I'm still gonna do it just to get some repairs in, get some fuel. I don't want to be stranded somewhere without anywhere to go. I don't give a shit about the shields at this point. Um, I just want repairs and fuel. So let's get the fuel first, get some repairs in. We don't need the fuel if we don't take damage, so, you know, I'm just gonna see it like that. <laughs> that is so sick. Good. And absorb. Um, yeah, we will not accept surrender. And I'm actually gonna uh, cloak here to let my flag recharge to and then get this in and then we should be able to kill them. Yeah. With all of them pulled off piloting, that was a pretty high chance. Um, good. Let's go to this distress beacon. Um, slug vessel under attack. Attack the Lanius ship. That's fine. Oh, that's a really heavy was. That's a really sick weapon system that they have there. Oof. I need to take that down. Yeah, good. Or kill them, I guess. Either is fine. Contact the slugs. Oh, the slugs actually give me double reward. That's nice. Slugs usually don't do that. Slugs are usually ungrateful bastards. Um. So I'm just gonna attack the vessel, I think. Yeah, this was very likely gonna be a Lanius bomber. Um, and I really don't want him to teleport onto my ship, but it's, yeah, that's nothing I can do at this point. Is there any way that I can kill this in one go? Uh, two, four, s two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So this kills, good. Oh lol, he still got damaged from my beam. That is sick. I've never seen that. So here I'm gonna open up all of... Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad we went through this door earlier. Um, just take, just taking a little bit of time of, 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 of the run to repair my ship there made me so much, much more likely to, to take these, these events. And here we're gonna open up the doors just so the Lanius can't suck out the air of uh, of this room too quickly. Oh my goodness, that was. This is a difficult run, very very difficult, but man, we've made it, we've made it through so far, and we actually do is we're doing so well. Um, just gonna attack the weapons here. Nothing fancy. Yeah, that's all fine because you're dead. Upgrading my 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 flak there, or or upgrading my weapon system so I can enable the flak was so a hundred percent the right choice. I'm so glad that I did that, regardless of whether we find the pre-igniter. Otherwise, we would always be struggling against um, these two shield ship 
ships. And yeah, that is just not not a position that you want to be in. So I'm going to the to the exit beacon here because this is pro most of the time this is a this a positive event for you. Oh, this is a nasty ship. So I need to buffer this to see where this thing will land. If this was weapons, then I would need to cloak. That was that was my thinking there. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to wait for this to um, to come at me, and now I'm going to cloak for 15 seconds. So 80% dodge there was enough for me to. Um, uh, was enough time for me to make sure that my glaive beam can uh, can get off another volley. Good. Good, 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 good. Repair arm, that is bad. That is not good at all. So repair arm is the worst uh, 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 augment in the game. Repairs your hull every time you collect scrap, but reduces the scrap you collected by 15%. So... Yeah, that's just horrible. You just get less scrap, and then you know you just end up end up with uh, with a little bit more hull, but you don't always need hull, and it's you know we're almost full anyway. Now, I'm so not well versed in Lanius events uh, from from abandoned sectors. Uh, you arrive at a beacon and to discover a civilian ship fleeing from a Lanius craft. You, the civilian has help the metal monster uh, are going to melt down a ship. Strangely, no active weapons signatures are detected. I think I'm still going to attack the the uh, landing a ship. I could also try to contact them, but I think attacking them here is, is the right call. Maybe uh, I'm going to get a double reward out of this by doing this. I think... Uh, let's see how long the cloak is. Okay, them going in there doesn't really matter for me, so I'm gonna let them. So it's a longer cloak, so I'm gonna cloak right here, just to wait out their cloak. And as soon as theirs is done, I'm gonna fire into their weapons. I should be able to one-shot them anyway, uh, if their if uh, uh, thingy goes down here. Um, I'm gonna turn on my my uh, 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 what's it called here my med bay. Okay, good. Nah, I'm just gonna go like this, and that should already kill, I think. Yeah, good. Good. O2 is back on. Good. good, good. Man, Lanius cruisers or Lanius bombers like that one, um, they they always come with mind control and and cloaking and and um, hacking. Like these are all really really good augments that I want to use, but I don't want the enemy to use. So you know, it's kind of uh, it's kind of tricky that way. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then head to the exit. Uh, I do want a little bit more uh, evasion and also like. I do want more engines uh, uh, because I do want the the option to uh, to get 100% dodge, uh, which I don't yet have. Uh, this will be 90. Um, the cloak at 60%, and right here you can see the the evasion chance. Um, but yeah, it is. Uh, we have to work on our engines to to make that 100%. Um, Send an away party. Okay, quest in the next sector. That's great. Let's go here. Uh, merchant ship. Let's inquire. Yeah. I don't want an augment because our augment slots are full. I don't really want a weapon for 50 because I don't know what I'm going to get. And also I don't want the thing, a drone schematic, so I'm just going to decline. 
Unfortunate. Not too great a jumps that we got from, from this dive, but it is what it is. That's just the way it goes sometimes. So I'm gonna just wait uh, to pull off my rock here uh, until they've punched through this uh, this door and now I'm gonna just collapse on them with everyone that I have. Afterwards, I'm also gonna, um, uh, gonna what's it called? Um, gonna in in increase my, my uh, power once more um, just so I have uh, just so I have sufficient amount of power to power four engines. Yes, please, please power them at bay once you're in there. Thank you. Good, you can get out. You can go in. Good, good, good. <coughs> good. Let's get one more power. I don't want to get more than this because I still want to get shields in the next sector, yeah. I mean, I am in sector 5 almost without shields, but I, I, I do sort of want shields still. Um, let's just see how far we get with firing this and then... Okay, well that's not too bad. The heavy laser we 100% have to dodge. Uh, I'm so happy. Oh, I was so worried. That was exactly the trajectory for the for the weapon system right there. Okay, I think the ASB would judge as well with this with this cloak. We do have 10% chance that it will still hit, and it does actually. Um, that is not great, but also not the end of the world. Um, uh, this might kill. Oh, one damage off. That's really unfortunate. I think I might just get out of here. This this may still fire, but I think we should get out of here before that happens. Do I want the extra? Nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm, out of, I'm out of here. Rock controls. Not great again, but yeah. Uh, what has been so far? Oh, yeah. Please, no asteroid. Oh, no. Okay, good. We can get to this one with this beacon right here. Otherwise, we would have been stuck. And we would have to go through the asteroid field. Oh, my goodness. So, the quest is right here. We should... Maybe we don't dive this. And just go for the quest. If this one connected to the exit, then I would definitely dive this. But, yeah, since it doesn't, I don't think I'm going to dive. These out of here. So, get you back into positions. Come on. Just trying to open up a pack of the sesame sticks. I really love those. Good, good. Mm. Let's go to stress first. Yeah, sure, I'll lead you to the destination, that's fine. Yeah, sure, we can get there. If that's a store, that would be absolutely amazing. Please hit. That, that is the opposite of please hit. So I just cloaked there to make sure that I got another volley with the flag off. Okay, I guess all I have to do, but uh, I am not happy. So I really want this flag to, to go into, into the weapons. Because I need this this heavy laser to go down. There was a chance that they may that they took down the um, the beam laser there, but yeah, we just can't take any chances like that. 
this this thing has to go down. That can do so much damage. So I think this will go into weapons, which doesn't really matter to me because I can fire off my flak now. And once that hits, I can fire off the, the glade beam. Man, this was the first time that the weapons actually got hit where it didn't matter at all. Very, very good indeed. Okay, our, our weapons guy is almost trained as well. That's really handy. That's really, really good. We desperately need that uh, for faster charge time of, the, of our weapons. Okay. Okay, they have a teleporter. I didn't get the weapons. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that's really bad. Ooh, that's really bad. That's a big mistake. This weapon system is really, really good as well. Oh, fudge. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, I made an oopsie. Uh-oh. Okay, they do roughly fire at the same time. I'm just going to take this hit. And then hope that this comes in soon. And now we cloak for 90% dodge. Boy. What a mistake. That was a really big mistake. So with three things, go, like with the three damage that we would have done uh, in the first volley, we would have taken down at least the uh, the burst laser and the heavy laser, or the flak and the heavy laser, or maybe even the flak and the, and the burst laser. But yeah, that, that chance was really low. Um, but yeah, that was a really, really big mistake. Okay, let's start healing you guys. That cost us three damage, right? I think so. Okay, best to move past it and then just uh, go for the quest. Hmm. So I don't really like to go down here because I have to go through an asteroid field to get back up. Uh, maybe we'll go one, two, three and then head back up. Without shields, it's just so impossible to... to. So the reason why I want to go... One... Oh, no, no, I'm just going to go quest first. The quest might actually be a store as well. Oh! Please give me... Please please give me shields. Don't, don't do me like... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes, please. Sell that. Sell this garbage. Repair arm my ass. Get that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and we in business. Maybe going for the burst laser too would have been good here as well. Hacking might have been good. Um, so just getting shields, maybe that was the better option actually. Maybe, we, maybe this is another mistake, maybe a smaller one than the previous one, but... Um, Going for shields and hacking would have enabled me to always deal damage uh, because I can just hack the uh, piloting when I fire the flak, for instance, and then I can just deal damage that way. So maybe this was a small mistake. Now we can also take the asteroid field, though, so now I'm less less worried about taking this, this jump over here. So hacking is something that we definitely want to go for uh, this run because it just pairs so well with the glaive beam and also with the uh, pre-igniter that we have found. Hey, cyber penguins! Uh, we just clawed our way back from the brink of defeat. Like we were at five, no, six HP, I think, and we were still stuck with the glaive beam. I, I, I literally just found. Um, oh, that's a good. That's that's good actually that you mentioned that. 
changing the title and stuff like that. Um, uh, FTL. Oh, that's a good. That's a good point. Hard mode still B. And then this here should be um, FTL. Update. Thank you for letting me know. Um, but yeah, we literally just found shields. Like in, what is this? We are in sector 5 right now. So we've survived so far without having shields. Which is, you know, pretty insane. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's been a run, man. It's been a run. Yeah, I think hacking might have been might have been the better choice there uh, in the previous in the previous store. So I'm not too worried about the flak anymore because we do have some uh, <laughs> some thingies now. So we can cloak. Yeah, as you can see now, like because we have the shields. We don't have to rely on, on weird timings anymore. We can just, you know, take this hit and even... Oh, that might have been a little bit too early. Nah, it's fine. Uh, and now we can just fire off our weapon like that and it just works. Okay, we do definitely need hacking. Um, we have 21 drone parts, so that's, that's you know, never going to be an issue for the rest of the run. Um, Oh man, I'm so glad that I got shields there. Oh, I'm so glad that I went there first. Oh man, just some good decision making there. So Sun Beacon, not really a fan. I'm gonna take this jump, then this jump, and then head back up here. Um, just getting a little, little bit more scrap. Uh, if there's a... Ooh, I don't like this. I'm gonna fight it, but yeah, it's not... I don't like it. So I'm just gonna fire off some flax here, I think. Uh, I think that's gonna be the way the way for us. I'm gonna cloak here, get 90% dodge. Ah, that sucks. It's not it's not too bad though. Because only the flak that went down, so we can actually repair this fairly quickly. And then we can still get the flak to fire. I, I do think we're going to get hit by, by this bad boy here. There's also not that much we can do about it. Oh, we did get uh, um, the fast weapons recharge. Okay. Let's see. If we get two, if we get all three hits. Hmm, do we just take this? I don't think so. Oh, that's a weapons hit. That's not a weapon hit. Okay, I don't care about that. Okay, this uh, is not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Let's fire the shields here. Hopefully a few hits. That's great. Nah, I just want to hit shields and weapons. That's that's all I really care about. This this um, this thing go, uh, staying up is not that big a deal. Start repairing that actually. So I have 80% dodge, but we have two shield bubbles, so there's very low chance that we would actually get hit there. Uh, fire this. Good. And kill. We will not accept surrender. We we fought too hard to get that kill. 40 scrap, that's so good as well. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, I do hope that we find a store up here soon. Uh, because we do have enough scrap now to... Um, mm -hmm. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, there was another asteroid that came in. That's so... Okay, that's really fortunate. Uh, we will not accept surrender and goodbye. Whew. 
Ooh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Please give me store. There's no store. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll get a reactor upgrade like that. That's very good. Um. Mm, quest into exit. There should still be one more. I think there's barely one more. If it's not, if the quest, if if it turns out that the that the exit beacon is overtaken, then I'll just continue down this way, and then just jump back into it. I think the 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 quest might be either reactor upgrade or a high scrap reward. That's it. Very good. So we're in sector five now heading into sector six even if you find hacking i think we should be fine for drone parts i'll sell 12. uh so eight drone parts should be more than enough than, uh, than what we need do i want to dive here for one extra jump our weapon system is good for now we have something to sell Hey, I, I just updated the Zambani. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I, I... Cyber Penguins definitely didn't tell me to do it, though. Just, you know. Sultan Home Rolls. We would have to deal with Sultan Shields. I think this is actually not a Sultan... Ah, do we go to Sultan Home Rolls? <sighs> what do we find? What do we think, guys? Salt and home rolls or not? Is that a thing? Getting salt and shield here would definitely be the nail in the coffin to win this run. Pirate controlled. Not too many stores. Maybe, maybe it is Zoltan Homeworlds here, and then also the possibility of this being an NG sector or a civilian sector with more stores. Uh, I think it might actually be Zoltan Homeworlds, but it's very close to, to pirate controlled. Uh, we did find shields already though, so there's that. Okay, terrible exit location. Let's see if we can go up here and then um, circle back this way. Actually, maybe I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nah. Nah, it looks like I'll have to go down and then up to get more, more jumps out of this. Okay, so there is... I could double dive this, but it's very bad, I think. So let's go up here first. Oh oh, choose your doom. So I think Mantis here. Because the re the rocks I really don't like. Mantis is a sort of fine I can deal with. They usually have again lesser lesser sh uh, ships upgraded. So I cloak there just so they can't board me. Um, now I can just kill them. Okay, you saw the ring contact the wise man. Good stuff, double reward, let's go. Definitely gonna go up here. Maybe I'll go down here then and then take these two nebulas before heading back up. I think that's what I'll do. I think that way I get to see the most, uh, the most of this uh, sector. So mantis ships, the thing about mantises is and this actually applies to especially sector one and or sector uh, uh, two and three. 
if you see a mantis sector early on i would pretty much always go there because they have always inst they, they always have a teleporter installed which means that they cannot spend power on other systems as you know the rogues or the slug slugs can so that means that the ships are generally weaker than than other sh uh, than other races um so yeah that way you can really balance out uh, uh that you really maximize the amount of damage you take because their chips are just weaker. Hmm. Man, man, man. Oh, let's hear them out. Let's hear them out, eh? Let's get some quests. That's a terrible location. And I'm 100% gonna go there. Let's go double dive. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go here. Oh my goodness. I don't care about that necessarily. Let's just cloak ourselves. Mm, they don't really have a good attack angle, unfortunately. Maybe something like that works. Mm. Maybe this was a bad cloak. Maybe we should have waited. I probably should have waited. And we can fire once just to see if we hit because the glade beam takes so much longer to, to recharge. We don't take damage from the uh, helper beam here uh, because there's only two damaged beam and we have two shield bubbles right now. I don't want to take this hit at all. Oh. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought it was going to hit the um, weapons here, but it didn't. And that's a kill. Uh, yeah, we will not accept surrender. Thank you. I definitely will need to move this uh, human in there to get the oxygen back a little bit quicker because well, oxygen was running out on the ship. Get the rockman healed up. I always, say, I always say repaired, but you know, it's difficult to repair uh, people, I guess. You know, rock, uh, rockman people. Is that a racist thing to say? Mm, I think I'll just take these two uh, beacons down here. <laughs> Maybe I'll ignore these. Maybe I'll just go one, two, three. Head over here. Head over here. Quest. And then head back down. I think that's what I'll do. I should probably upgrade my, my shields at this point as well. Okay, it's gonna hit piloting, that's not too bad. That is pretty bad. Um, something like this maybe? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. We will not accept surrender, thank you. So their drone went down and their main weapon went down. So uh, I was pretty confident that I, we that we couldn't um, uh, successfully get by this fight uh, when that happened. And goodbye, my friends. Good, good, good. Good. Third shield bubble. Let's go. So we just need to find um, hacking right now. I think that's that's the number one priority that we have. Good. Resisted some shots, but we have three shields now, so they can never hit us. We don't even need to cloak this. So the cloaking, I'm just going to save up for when it's actually needed. Um, uh, which is most likely just going to be uh, missiles and stuff like that. Will not accept surrender. Bye bye. Good, good. We got a little bit of fuel there. That's also really important. Okay, we have to punch through the resultant shields first. 
Okay, one more. We're just gonna dodge this missile. 90% dodge should be sufficient. Yes, it is. This thing cannot damage us. Do I want to take this already? Yeah, why not? Pew pew. Um, actually, let me move this guy onto shields to, to get him some training if we do get hit by, by, by stuff. Good, good. Good, good, good. Good indeed. Okay, there's a store. We could get hacking there. We have enough. Mm, we do have enough stuff to, to get that. And we're in sector 6 right now, and there is no hacking. That's unfortunate. Not too big a deal. We just sell this. Do we go for the whole laser? I think we go mind control here, actually. Mind control backup battery. I don't want to go with drone recovery arm with... Uh, um, with drone control i just don't think it's that good i think drone control and and cloaking sort of do similar things with with drone control you pretty much always want to have a defense drone um which that means you use it to mainly sh shield off um missiles and cloaking just does the same but better because you can always choose to uh when you want to uh, uh dodge and is more reliable. I think mind control is, is a big no-brainer here together with backup battery, get some fuel, get some repairs. Don't think I need the whole laser here. Um, don't really need any power either. I think I'm just gonna go one, two, three, and then exit. So we just dive once here. Intruders on board, that is never good in the Zoltan sector. Never, ever. Oof. Actually, let's do this. Oh. They actually mind controlled me now. Oh, that's really... Oh my. Oh, so many, so much stuff happening here. So they hacked my mind control. Because of that, they can temporarily, while they're hacking, hack mind control one of my guys. And that means that um, they mind control this guy. But like I said, it's just a temporary thing. So I'm gonna dodge this missile here. Um, and then I'm gonna focus down these two uh, enemies, I think gonna wait with another volley the rock is tanky enough that he can take a few hits from 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 these bad boys so i'm gonna now send the mantis in to fight this sultan and then the rock to fight this sultan here because i want them to to die as soon as possible that is really good and uh, now i want a five hit Shot, let's go. Let's heal you up. You have more than 15 HP, so you are fine. So Zoltans explode when they um, when they are killed. Uh, so you always need 15 HP uh, because they deal 15 damage to the room that they're in uh, when they get killed. Um, only to enemies though, just so you know. So if my, if my own Zoltan gets killed and he's in a room with other people, that doesn't matter. Uh, it's only the enemies that take damage from it. Man, man, man. Let's go back to your positions. Okay, there's another store coming up, so another opportunity for us to get hacking which is even more likely this time uh, so uh, because we um, 
because we already bought a few of the augments that cannot show up again, like the mind control and like the uh, backup battery. So let's heal them. Perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideals with our war. True progress can only be ach uh, achieved without bloodshed. And let's continue. And we get the Zoltan shield. Man, we went from 6 HP and a dream to finding a pre-igniter. And now we have a Zoltan shield, a glade beam flag with these augments, which are like the best augments in the game, I feel like. Pre-igniter, you know, is a bit iffy, but Zoltan shield, long range scanners, so good. So, so good. Man, absolutely amazing finds here. Um, unfortunately... <laughs> Not the <laughs> argument that I was looking for, but yeah, sure, that's fine. I mean, that's actually fair. That's, that's, that's actually fair. If I lose this, unsub, that's, yeah, can't, can't even complain about that one. I mean, look what we have. That is so insane. Hmm. So I'm gonna uh, charge up my thingy here, gonna mind control, and then gonna fire this bad boy. Got finding the thing as well. Yeah, we can just take that missile, no problem whatsoever. Hmm. Let's just take a long cloak. That missed. I do want to get the one fuel that I that I get from this event. So goodbye. Man, these are fully trained uh, uh, humans that we're fighting against. It's so sick. I'm just gonna stay for it. I mean, I can just go and actually now that I think about it. Engine control 100%. Late game abandoned sector. Oh my, we were. Oof. Ay, ay, ay. Very good indeed. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, so we do want to find. Hacking still, maybe another weapon system, but that's a definite maybe. Did I just lose someone? No. No, 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 I did. Um, getting some more engine power would be nice. We would love to get some training, but yeah, that's that's probably not not. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, you know, you mentioned this, so, you know, this is on you, but I didn't think about this until, until you brought it up, my friend. So, yeah, that's on you. That's all on you. Okay, one more hit from the uh, flag should do it here. Good, good. Easy peasy. No problemo. A suit like that. <laughs> Let's move down here. A small sacrifice. <laughs> oh man, we find so many good things to sell off. Ah, so good. <laughs> Spawn to the call. Okay, so our first four shield ship. Um... Definitely doable, but not the easiest to deal with. I think we're gonna go like this. Just to get rid of their uh, piloting. So it's a little bit easier for us to deal with the... Uh, um, to deal with uh, future volleys. 
So this one we can let through. This one should just do two damage. Oh, well, it misses even. Okay, then the next uh, volley just should just kill, I think. Uh, because we can go to something like this and... Uh, come on. Zorb, Zorb. Okay, not yet a kill. Mm, I want you to stop. So by mind controlling him, we're pulling him off this system. So it's it's uh, stopped repairing. Um, I kind of wanna wanna cloak this just so we don't have to deal with borders and stuff like that. Uh, kill now. Um, going one hundred percent hardcore. Just died to boss phase three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is a really good point. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> By the way, uh, do you guys want to be named anything? Like, you know, I have loads of loads of random random units on my on my uh, on my ship. Would you like to be the the engineer again, uh, Zambani? Okay, which one? Engineer? You're more a mantis. Let me this Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which one would like? Would you like to be? The best one. It's obviously the human, right? Obviously. So you're gonna you're gonna be the human from now on. <laughs> I mean, he's commanding the ship, so it's basically like the Kirk of of the ship. Definitely the best one, right? Yes, yes, that's exactly right. Hacking, let's go. Mm, get one more power bar, power this straight away. Do I need anything else? No, do I need to sell anything? Mm, maybe. I'm not gonna use this. I'm never gonna use that. Do I want anything else? Hmm. No, not really. Get some more power in there, I guess. Um, maybe I should save this for a better weapon system because our weapon system is decent right now, but it's not that great. We can still get two more. Yeah, let's just wait. We have, we have time to wait. Uh, I'll be the least useful one. <laughs> okay, after this fight, I'm gonna make you the least useful one, uh, Zambani. Uh, attack, mind control. And absorb. I think the mind control actually supplements the the uh, hacking that we bought, so we don't need, we don't even need to hack most of the times because the mind control will just do it for us by mind controlling the pilot. Um, yeah, yeah. So the burst two definitely good, but you know also another flag two will or another flag will do the trick. Um, so I'm not really that. It's it's difficult to find a a, a burst two. Um, but yeah, something with two laser shots. That's that's already something that I'll I'll take. We don't need fuel. Uh, we're gonna get a fuel a full uh, uh, tank when we get to the. Um, we're gonna get like ten fuel or something when we get to the eighth sector. Um, so this is actually a ship where we could use the hacking with. Um. <laughs> nope, we don't want surrender and I don't want you to repair. I almost got 97% or 100% uh, uh, dodge there and I just did it so I don't get my control. It's literally the only uh, uh, the only reason why I did it. Good. Got that last bubble. 
and kill like that. Good stuff. 50 scrap, not too bad. I can actually go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and add 6. Even if we dive right now, I don't think it matters. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's use the beam weapon again, just like in the beginning of the run. Let's go. Oh. Oh, I didn't see what that comes... Oh, it's the uh, virus event. Okay. Um... I don't actually know what the hacking thing he does. So this just lets us fight a crew, like fight the enemy, get a reward, and then we we have um, virus at the end, which is like a fully trained. Maybe this is really good. Let's just do something else for a change. Let's isolate and quarantine the virus. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, it's unfortunate that we have to <laughs> kick kick this thing out straight away, but yeah, that is fine for me. I would love to find another store. So we go one, two, three, and then we dive for sure. So this doesn't connect down either, so we just get one extra jump. This way. I think I'll just go here straight away. Uh, if we don't, if we, we don't need to spend our scrap here. Uh, we have enough so that we don't actually need to spend it right away. I would love to, to upgrade my, my hacking in a bit. Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. So we did get hit by the uh, anti-personnel anti drone here, anti-combat drone. Um, but yeah, it didn't really matter. And now we can just... Okay, well... Yeah, but... Oh, why didn't I, why didn't I um, mind control? That's dumb. So now we have to wait for another volley. They have a drone incoming themselves now. Good. Let's get this and this guy down there. Yeah, there's still, there's still actually a few things that I need to upgrade. So O2 is one of them, doors is one of them, um, backup battery may be one of them. So there's a few things still that we can do with our scrap. So luckily we delayed their FTL charging and yeah, we can just win now. Uh, this was 100% guaranteed to hit the flag weapon because the piloting went down. So we can just use that. <laughs> yes, please. Can you get out of there? Thank you. Okay, let's just do those those things right now. Let's get that and that and probably also that. So now we just have value points in all of the important systems. Um, like I said, a backup battery might be one of them. Uh, I haven't decided yet whether we, whether we want that or not. Uh, definitely want to upgrade my hacking though. Um, is there a store there? No, there is not. I'm gonna go here. If this is a store, then I'll go there and, and uh, dive the the exit beacon. This is all fine. We still have a lot of scrap that we can spend, so... Uh, yeah, no. Oh! I didn't even know this was a thing! Oh, okay! So if you're preparing to leave, you can also encounter someone. Oh, that's that's... Something I didn't know yet. Two shields. A measly two shields. Yeah, sure. Um, let's do this first. Uh, we have enough hacking parts that we can actually uh, spare some. Uh, mind control this guy. And then absorb like that. Fire off the flag here. Ninety-nine percent dodge. Even better. We will not accept surrender. Okay, they got a dodge in there. 
not a problem. Please no shieldies. Well, maybe maybe they do get shieldies. Bye bye. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to the store then. <laughs> this was literally the plan. Uh, nothing good here, unfortunately. Uh, nope. Iron bomb. I do have pre-igniter. I think iron bomb is the thing. With a pre-igniter, that's actually really good. Whew, that's really good, actually. Surprisingly good. Uh... Yeah, I usually I usually look for for weapons like a flak, for instance, uh, like projectile weapons, when I go to stores and and don't find any. But yeah, iron bomb here uh, with a pre igniter is really really good. I think. Um, do I need anything? Yeah, I can get this once more, and then that. I think that should be fine. Oh, I should also upgrade hacking. Now I think about it. That went like a charm. Oh yeah, I should um, thingy then right away. Good, good. Yeah, we're gonna cloak here, I think. I'd so the ASB should still be uh, um, um, dodge by our thingy, and then we can just get in another volley. Go like this now. Get the one extra fuel. And then to the last stand. Let's get some repairs in as well. Let's go. Repair station here. Don't really need that. This beacon is about to ta be taken control. Let's go down here. See if we can find another store. Um, get some scrap along the way. Um, I think if we do this, we might lose a crew as well. I don't want that. Oh, I don't know. Do we want more crew? We don't need it. This will win us a run anyway. So again, we don't need the repair station just yet. Uh, we just want the rest to be taken care of. Um, something like that. Easy peasy. Pay pays a um, yeah I'm just gonna take one two three and then store I think uh, if if the store gets t overtaken that's fine I, I don't mind at all uh, we're not gonna take any damage here um, let's do that again we have enough drone parts so I can just do something like that again Mind control here. Pull the guy off piloting. Oh shit, I, I did that too early, I think. Doesn't matter. Good. So I fired off the, the, um, the flag a little bit too early there, but yeah. Didn't matter at all. Ew. Ooh. Um, oh, so good, so good. Uh, 
and a Zorb. Goodbye. And another one for good measure. Bye bye. Man, it's uh, if you get to the end with a setup like this, it's just so so easy to to get kills and to get a bunch of scrap together within no time. Prepare to fight the rebel. Let's go. Uh, shields again with another hit in there get this body going and kill Aza Paza contact the survivors store was still there good first laser one don't think I need any of this maybe one of you guys what do I have I have a Engine one and a thingy one. <laughs> I think you might be getting replaced. Somebody. I think you want to go out there, look. <laughs> oh shit, that's true, cyber. Oh man, I forgot about that. I'm so sorry. Uh... Oh, we still have two slots here. You're, you're, you're lucky. So the, the least useful one. Uh, it's obviously Ohm, so... Alright, Cyber... How do you write your name? Cyber Penguins. Let's go! <laughs> hey man... <laughs> I, I don't know what your kink is, man, Zambani, but... Uh, that, that's not usually what people go for. Hmm, burst laser one? Nah, I, I think I keep the iron bomb here. Iron bomb is, is really good, I think, in the setup. I might just buy these two just to get a little bit more evasion going. I mean, why not? I have enough cash. But that does replace Ambani at the helm, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, and does replace you there. I'm just gonna put you in there then. Good, good, good. Good indeed. I have that. I'm gonna upgrade that. I get that and then two more power bars. Cause why not? Cause why not? <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm just gonna cloak once the uh, once this thing is going. Let's say never change a winning team, right? I mean, I do have four hacking now or three three hacking thingies now, but I don't think I I really need it. They won't even get to fire their, their thingy. Let's mind control one of them, now I think about it. They can kill that thing off and then uh, I won't have to worry about it later. Kill him! Kill him with fire! Yeah, that's one dead. Let's go. Um, I got damage? I took... What did that happen? What do I have less in there? Did I get... Thingied somehow? I didn't even pay attention to my defense, to be honest. Uh, I just assumed that it was alright. Oh, that, that was bad. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but, but still. Let's just repair it. Uh, there's nothing else I want to get this run, so I might as well repair this this one damage while I still can. Um, do I have anything to sell? No. I could sell the long range scanners now, I guess, but 
I mean, why not? They're, they're not doing anything for us anymore, so might as well. Let's just wait at the base. J wait. Okay. No. Come on. Good. Good, good. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. One in there. over gonna put one more in O2 and gonna clock oh shit I know <laughs> oh man okay I'm gonna wait to t oh, maybe I can do this actually yeah good um and actually, maybe I can fire like this. So I killed off one, one more guy there, actually. So the, the glaive beam, I think, does 45 damage. Because it does three damage, uh, three um, uh, damage per room it, it, it damages. And normal lasers that does do one damage do 15 damage. So I think that's 45. So it, you can actually use that to, to kill off enemies as well. By the way, Samban, you can be lucky. Like, you just... You know, you just got suffocated just the way you wanted to. So, you know, be grateful. That's all I'm saying. You wanted this, you know, like this is this is all you, my friend. Like, let's just see how long you survive. We never know. Is he going to survive? Is he not? No one knows. Am I going to close it? Oh, oh we're going to open it. Oh, oh. I'm just gonna put you right here. You're gonna be uh, 25 HP. So at this point, it's all it's all luck. Definitely not gonna heal you. I'm not gonna waste resources on on, on you. Uh, let's see. What else do you want? We want the iron bomb to go up. Uh, we want that. We definitely oh well we kind of want this as well actually now I think about it yeah let's take down the the mind control mind control could be could be a little bit difficult to deal with um, deal with that so far so good they're still there ah, no I'd missed Gonna fire soon again. Um, good, 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 good. One hundred percent dodge. I'm getting pummeled here. Well, I don't, it doesn't matter because I've won. Or have I? <laughs> yeah, I have. Sambani. Let's see. We never know. <laughs> you literally just barely made it, man. <laughs> okay. Well, there you are. Stealth, stealth B. Getting back from the brink of defeat. Really, really sick run. Really sick run. Um, my goodness, that was such a sick run. Absolutely amazing. Like we, like I said earlier, we went back from six HP that we had, and 
managed to find a pre-igniter and then and then subsequently the resultant shield. Um, definitely a really really good run, uh, and can also show you how how good it is to not give up. Uh, we made some really good decisions. One of them was was to get the uh, to upgrade our weapon system and just go all in on offense. Um, the uh, another one that we that I made quite early on is to once I realized that I couldn't get shields in level in 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 Act One, in Act One in the first sector, um, I decided to upgrade my cloaking to level three, which definitely helped to get me through the early game, uh, as we weren't able to find shields anywhere near sector one and couldn't afford it anyway if we did find it. Um, but yeah, very nice run. Um, I think I'm going to take a little break here and uh, thank you Zambani and Cyber Penguin for watching. Um, like I said, going to take a little break, uh, going to have a, a bite to eat and then uh, maybe I'll stream a little bit later, but not, not for too long, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.